Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got one of the mega boxes of Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Edition. Uh, basically, it's a 2021 product, so you'll see rookie cards from that year. Nobody from 2022, so no Wanders or anybody like that. But uh, we will find four exclusive Prism Refractor Parallels Part Box. Uh, these are at Target and Walmart. Uh, Target, I've been, I believe, sells them for $50.00. Uh, Walmart sells them for $55, um, 36 total cards, uh, nine packs, four cards per pack. So I figured I'd open up at least one of these new boxes. Now I'm a big fan of this product. So I, I've actually been buying some singles uh, for myself of this. I just think the cards look really sharp. So um, it is a large checklist too, 700 cards. So definitely tough if you're trying to put together that complete set especially when you know like a box like this you get 36 total cards uh, you should get four parallels uh prism par uh, refractors or parallel cards um you know per box too so realistically you get 32 cards so you need about 25 26 boxes and that's if you don't pull any duplicates uh, which i'm sure you would but uh here are the odds too for the uh, mega boxes in case anybody's curious so i'm not going to read it off but uh, if you want take a moment to pause and uh, you can read it on your own uh this chance for autographs i think an autograph was like one in yeah one in 57 packs so yeah, one per six and a half boxes roughly so eh, maybe we can get lucky i'm not really you know holding my breath on getting anything like that uh packs are a little different too uh they got a blue so uh, so for the retail versions, they are blue. The hobby versions, they are red. So let's get into it, see what we get. It would be nice if, you know, we can at least pull like one nice rookie card. Um, you know, from like Jazz Chisholm, Cabrian Hayes, Dylan Carlson, um, you know, a lot of those guys from 2021. So let's see. We got Daniel Johnson, Adrian Beltre, Jose Ramirez, and we got only three cards in that first pack. So off to a good start hopefully there's a pack in here with five cards to uh, kind of make up for it sometimes they do have that later on in the box so barry zito mitch white mitch moreland and joey Bacucci. not really a myth that i'm looking to collect we do get justin upton looks like we do get our first prism uh refractor in the back we got upton hal newhauser anderson tahada uh, regular silver refractor rookie and burt blylevin is our prism not a horrible name to get all right next pack and this will definitely be a very quick opening we got mark matthias rookie tony gwynn Joe Torrey and Gregory, Gregory Polanco. So five packs left. So far, only one. I don't think the the regular refractor is considered uh, one of the the parallels, but we'll see. But we do get Joey Bart. Okay, probably our best rookie pull so far. Xander Bogarts, David Dahl. And Tino Martinez. So Bart, definitely our best rookie pull so far. Let's see what we get. Like I said, these you know these boxes aren't cheap. They're fifty dollars at Target, uh, fifty five at Walmart. So like I said, I'm, it's not really something. I would almost buy the the hobby the hobby light box. I think they were selling for about eighty bucks. I'd probably buy that over this. But uh, Austin Riley, Dexter Fowler. Tom Seaver, okay. And Brad Hand, Prism. Nice little print line going down almost directly through his head, if you see that. Um, eh, not really a name I'm looking for. But. And all right, let's see, next pack. Dansby Swanson, he's been having a great year for the Braves. All right, we do get a Jazz though. I'm happy, I'm very happy about that. AJ Pollock and Tom Hatch. Fractor, another rookie. At least it's a rookie, but not really a rookie. Rookie we're looking for. 
but definitely happy pulling the Jazz Chisholm. Very exciting player. They get elected to his first All-Star game, which will be in just a little under a week. And brings us to two packs left. There was chances for color as well, um, but no guarantee of that in any of these mega boxes. We got Matt Chapman, Mike Moustakis, Shane Green, and Austin Hayes. But yeah, so I guess the silver refractors are basically one of your refractors. I thought it was pretty much the prisms. I don't know, this one feels a little thicker, so maybe, maybe the card we were missing earlier might be in this pack. Or maybe it's just me, hopefully, hoping that uh, it is in there. We got Moises Alou, Griffin Cannon, Nick Anderson, and all right, tell Carlos Delgado. Actually, this Moises Alou one feels a little thicker than the others. Um, all right, Carlos Delgado, Prism Refractor. I'm happy with that. It's a Met card. Um, I know he didn't play, you know, a ton of his career with the New York Mets. I don't know, maybe Blue Jay would be the team that he's most uh, affiliated with um, through his career. I don't know. But anyway, so that is one of our mega boxes of 2021 Platinum Anniversary. I don't really think I'll be opening up any more of the mega boxes. Um, I was a little shocked to see um, that they did do a retail version of this. I knew there was kind of some people saying that they thought they may see a retail version of it. Um, but I didn't hear anything about it until I did see it was posted on Target's website just over the weekend, I believe, or maybe it was like Monday or Tuesday. Um, I didn't bother ordering it off Target's website because Target just takes so long to ship stuff. And I thought I might have a better luck of getting it in store before I'd actually physically get it in hand. So, um, but overall, I mean, I'm kind of happy with the box, how it turned out. Um, was I expecting to pull an autograph or anything like that? No, not really. Um, but overall, I mean, some of the cards were decent. Some of them, eh, some, you know, I mean, some of the rookies that they have in here, I don't think are really necessary. There's almost an argument where I'd have them hopefully put more, you know, legends in the set, but that's just my opinion. Um, but overall, not too bad. Uh, 50 bucks, a little high on the price tag. I'd be more inclined to open this if it was maybe more in like the $40 price range. Um, but you know, when it costs you almost, you know, what, almost a dollar twenty a card, that's eh, a little tough. I, I, I'd almost rather just buy singles. So, I mean, let me know in the comments what you think about the mega boxes. Um, you know, I'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, have you pulled any, have you opened up any of the mega boxes? Have you pulled anything good from the mega boxes? Have you pulled an autograph? Definitely like to hear from you guys. Uh, also too, appreciate if you leave a like on the video. And also if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate it. If you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We do a lot of baseball videos, occasional football, um, and then uh, some other odd uh, oddball openings every now and again as well. So um, if you want to see more stuff like that, greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.